Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Red World. Oh yes, Red World is the American Republic, so... What are we going to be going... What are we going to... What are we going to be doing today? You might be asking way better than I can be speaking, but... The world tension's kind of high, 26.9%. We can't declare Utah, like we can't declare war on Utah like that. We can't. We just can't do it. The reason is, is because when they're at 25%, they can join factions if we declare war on them. And they're really national conservative. And that's a, that's a big issue. A really big issue. And we're about to have a pretty big coup about to pop up in the 25th of November. So I think we're going to give that the most of attention because we need we need this as a potential ally. Also, we're going to be starting over in Spain trying to get that the 26th of August 2014, of course. That's when that's going to be done. So if you're like, Dustin, why are you fumbling on your words a little bit? Um, it's because I already tried to record this before and now it's just like I'm trying to speed up the clock. To get into new things because this part I've already done before I've already done all this so I messed up like words like five times already I think oh well um, but so we're gonna wait for them for that coup to pop up there's 61% nationalist so this should be going all right it should there's no way that it won't um so how many troops do we got we have eight so far for you almost lined up fully we may have to drop one, kind of depends when our troops going to be done. That's the thing. We don't have as much equipment as we're supposed to. It's not good. Let's go ahead and do this, because I needed to do that for a while now. Have not done so. So, National Bolshevik. I wanted to read that, and you like popped it away from me, you ass. Ah. Let me read it. What the fuck? Why are you doing this to me? Let me read it. There we go. National Bolshevism combines elements of radical nationalism and Bolshevism. It's often anti-capitalist in tone and sympathetic towards certain forms of socialism. So... Lowers world tension with guarantees. Can send volunteer forces. Can guarantee other ideologies. Join faction tension limit plus 50%. Does that mean that I'll be okay declaring war on them? Because I do not want to start a war with the Warsaw Pact right now. I am not ready for it. Let's try justifying. Because if anything, it's not going to do me a damn bit of good. I won't act on it. I'll figure that out hopefully by the next episode. See if we're going to be fine. But the main thing that we're trying to do right now is getting the United Arab Republic under our side. Nationalism. That's what we want. Um. Now there's a few ways that I could go about this. I can get Yugoslavia because they're already a bit nationalist. I can get China, which I'm really thinking about because if we get China, that's going to be the smartest idea because... Not only do we have access from the European front, we have access from the Asian front. And that's what we need to take down the Soviet Union. Let's see, military factories, we want to get probably all of them into guns. We need to get guns out quick. Fast as hell, we need those guns out. Let's see, we got one troop done. A plus, that's awesome. We may not get another one. Oh well. Soon enough that coup is going to be complete. I want to do here, because if we go down this way, we get another research slot. And I have not seen that any other way. And yes, we need the nationalism. Like, we need the national unity, but it doesn't matter. We need that research slot. It's going to boost us so high. Because, I mean, what do we got? Like four? Yeah, we got four already. If we get that fifth one, holy lord, we're going to be able to research things at a crazy rate. Okay, let's get ready. 
There we go. Beautiful stuff. Awesome. So I already knew how this is going to look because, of course, I've tried to record this before. So this is going to be very, very exciting. Now we can only send two troopers. I know this because I've already recorded this part already. So I'm going to drop you. I apologize, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let's go ahead and grab that one too. Get a new commander. Get a new commander going. I want you to lead that army. And then I'm going to have you, the new guy, lead that army. Congratulations. So now we want to send you volunteers basically immediately. Go. I also want to send you a lend lease. Guns. About a hundred monthly. Planes. About a hundred monthly. We'll do that. So they accepted that. Okay, good. They have allowed us to send them forces, so we're going to wait for them to arrive. They should be arriving in the 10th of December. Which is good. That's in 10 days. Don't lose, and we'll be fine. Let's go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so they took over that mountain spot. That kind of sucks. So we need to fight them on that mountain. That's something that didn't happen last time. They actually put troops there. Don't attack yet. Wait for our troops to get there. We'll attack together. Hurry up, get there. Okay, you're there. Good. Attack. Now you're pushing on a mountain. Well, that kind of sucks. Hopefully we could beat this guy. No, it doesn't look like it. We don't have the troops for it. And they're not helping us attack. What the hell? Why? Come on, we got we got to win this spot. We got to get to their capital. If anything, they might be able. They took Alexandria already. So how'd that do for the war score? Holy shit, that did a ton for the war score. We basically just got to take another province, and we're good. Oh wow, we already took that spot. Holy shit! When the hell did that happen? Damn. Okay. Fuck. So we're doing good. They have multiple units in here. Not good. Yeah, they're trying to attack us here. They're actually doing a pretty decent job this time. Is there any other spots here that you could take? You could take here. Hopefully you do. Because if you do, this war might be over. Question mark? Don't fully know, but I'm pretty sure it will be. Come on. Win this so we can get our organization back up. They have four units in there. Oh, man. This is going to be a lot harder than last time. But that's fine. Because when we attacked, we like blitzkrieg the fuck out of them. We got here when they had one unit. It's going to be a lot more difficult this time around. Shit. If they can continue just grabbing stuff, that's what I'm hoping for. We can delay them, if anything. They're attacking us with a lot of units, too. Go ahead, keep attacking us. I dare you. Keep going. Should have brought a fucking tank division with me. Instead of a motorized, but oh well. Let's see if we can push here. No, that doesn't look like that's going to be able to happen. Okay, so let's see if we can... Can we push here? Maybe. They're bringing in another troop, though. They're bringing in more. A lot more. Fuck! Fuck, dude! God, this is getting a lot harder. Motorized division, head up north. I want to see if you can take that spot there. Because you saved those guys, which is fantastic. Over here, nothing really much is happening. Not a damn thing is happening, actually. Okay, you got there. Let's go ahead and see. We're attacking over a river if we do that, so let's go ahead and move you. I should have brought the troops with me, honestly. That probably would have been smarter. Let's go ahead and move here. Just kidding. We are obliterating this guy now. If anything, we can... There we go. He'll move in. Yeah. Yeah, now that's tough. You have six fucking divisions in there. This time they were smart. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to obliterate them there. That kind of sucks. It's getting a little harder. Getting a little harder. But overall, we're going to be damn fine. Motorized Division, I have a plan for you. 
Honestly, it's probably smart too. Oh, nope. We're good. Looks like I don't know what happened, but they gave up. Very nice. Very nice. Awesome. So they're fully nationalist now. That's a good thing. We need them on our side. Next is Spain, and now we have political power. I'm going to start boosting over in good old China. We still have a whole point to spare. So we could boost in Yugoslavia as well. Are we boosting in here? Yeah, we are. We still have 0.75 that we could use. Huh. That's actually really good. Iran, what are you? Let's see if we can boost nationalism there as well. Because I mean, if we can get a whole line here, that's going to be great. If we get Spain, that's going to be awesome. If we get China, that's going to be even better. Alright. So let's research. You can see the world tension is a lot higher. It's pretty terrifying, but oh well. So, basically, I'm probably going to go until this justification is almost done. Then I might end this episode. That's going to be kind of short, though. I don't know. Because Spain is our next target for switching people. Switching people over. We finally switched you guys, which is fantastic. We needed to do that, and now you guys are here. We can't create the faction because... The world tension isn't high enough, and you wouldn't accept it anyway. We could wait it out. Wait out the world tension and watch it just decrease. We could. Hmm. Is that a smarter idea? I think that might be a smarter idea. For right now, we're just going to go. We're just going to watch as this world tension goes down. Volunteer forces have come back, which is fantastic. They're over here. Let's go ahead and just put both of you over yonder. And then switch you back, because you're just a level 1 dude that we're not going to use that up that much at all. Good. Awesome. A+. plus. Alright, we got some research that we got to do, so let's do that. We got two free slots, because we weren't really watching. Um, 448. That's actually not too bad. Honestly, special forces, I don't really train Marines that much. I probably should, but I, I don't. Let's go ahead and research the new Abrams. Probably the new light tanks as well. The quicker we get those out, the better. I want to get guns out as much as possible. Ooh, the 2014 Olympics. Where are they being held at? unexpected twist not too many years ago when the Iranian capital won the competition for the 2014 Winter Olympics but to many it seems perfectly fitting that the bustling metropol yeah uh huh sure overshadowed by snow capped peaks should host the grandest winter sporting event in the world supposedly the Shah had been planning for such an occasion many decades ago when Iran was first preparing itself to become a world power now its dreams has finally come true and the world's collective eyes are set upon uh, the capital I don't know how to say it so I'm just gonna say the capital who will triumph in these games so the games are happening right there that's really exciting awesome cool stuff and we're boosting over here, boosting nationalism, so whoopsie. Don't let anybody know. <laughs> they have 59%, so they should be around 61% when we get that coup done. That's going to happen in August, too. Holy shit, that's coming fast. We're boosting over here. Slowly but surely, nationalism's going up. It's going up. We're getting a grand plan together. Or at least trying to get a grand plan together. We got to hope. I don't think we can ride out this world tension. I mean, soon enough, with all of these going on, the world tension is going to be huge. You know, by itself, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we need, we need Utah, though. They have so much tungsten, it's not even funny. I would honestly be willing to attack Canada for it. We need it. Are those guns actually going down? Yeah, they are. They're going down. I was going to say, because I did not see them go down for, like, at all. 
But we're getting we're getting the guns out for the troops to get trained. Guess that's good. Cause Iraq is nationalist, so we don't need to worry about them. It's trying to improve. Togo, Cyprus. Okay. Okay, so other nationalist nations. Good. Construction subsidies. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and get that next research slot. I want to create a faction with you. I do so bad. You like us? Because I'm pretty sure it's because we helped you. Yep. We recently delivered them equipment. The M1A2 Abram. Beautiful. Ah, uh, fuck. What to work on now? We're going to have mostly infantry, so I think mass assault's going to be the way to go, honestly, for us. Tanks. Let's go and switch them. It's going to suck because it's going to take a little bit to get those tanks back up to speed, but oh well. So the Middle East slowly but surely is changing. Slowly. Afghanistan's completely communist. Pakistan is nationalist as hell. Which is actually good because we can get them into this fold too. China's on its way. It's on its way. And then Spain, of course. It's on its way too. I'm actually really fucking excited about Spain. Once we switch them, that's going to be amazing. Oh yeah, we switched the tank, right. The light tank. Infantry, air, air doctrine... Formation fighting. We need to work on our doctrines a little bit. We don't have very very many. Uh, we're building six a week, though. Oh, well. We'll build two. Fuck it. We'll be fine. I'm so actually... I'm so excited about Spain. Because the moment they switch is going to be the moment that we have a gateway to Europe once we get a faction going with them. And it's going to be fantastic. Morocco, what are you guys? Oh, you guys are monarchist. Huh. All right. United Kingdom. I do want to switch you guys, too. Honestly. I think it would be a smart idea. Like, yes, we could boost it in the Soviet Union and try to, like, change them completely, but that's just boring. I want to try to destroy the entirety of this faction. That's why I'm trying to get a new ally on my side. One that's going to be really fucking hard to get, but we can we can do it. I believe in us. And Spain. Spain isn't going to be too hard, I don't think. Because they're almost at 61%. August. About two months. Wow. Got a new research. Beautiful. You got five in total. That's awesome. Um, look. Should get some more construction going. Okay, we got some more of this. Fantastic. Go ahead and bop that. We just need 810, then we're good. Hmm, engineering, industry, construction. Let's wait on that. Let's get infrastructure going. Beautiful. Beautiful shit. We could try justifying against you guys, because I don't know how that's going to go. I don't know who you would join. Because you're like, you're anti-capitalism, but you're kind of for socialism. And I'm kind of terrified, because if that means... Mm, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Tell me who to justify against in the next episode. I kind of want to know. Because it's it's really difficult to try to figure that out. Wow, you guys are getting close. Holy shit. You guys are going quick. I mean, we are going really fucking fast. About a month, you're at sixty one percent, just like good old United Arabs. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful when you guys switch. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be we sh we should be fine. I think we'll be okay. Uh once we need troops we'll just take him out of probably this army here. We'll probably take out one and maybe a tank division of another one. I think a tank division would be great to send over. Let me see what my tank division is my armor. I mean they're small. Small as hell, but Infantry ain't much bigger. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We are using Gen 1 tanks, though. No, we're not. Not anymore. We're building 
at least what gen 3s pretty sure you yeah gen 3 we're trying the most of them are not set yet there's August what is it 20 something 26th I feel like we should just get this one over with too if we can change them too that's gonna be awesome if it's a little difficult then I'll wait I'll wait until the next episode to continue we were close actually we dropped that down quite a bit that's good that's real good there we go shit that's small as hell for being 61 percent fuck dude oh damn well, we need to send them volunteers number one we gotta we gotta help them we gotta fight Uh, except for you guys and you guys. Let's just get the rest of you over to this army here. Uh, you two can get yourself an army under that guy. You'll go back under here for a bit. Good. I mean, you guys are newly trained, but oh well. Let's go ahead and get... A Lendly started with you guys. We can go ahead and send you a fucking 250 guns monthly shit. I wanted to send you guys other shit. There we go. 200 monthly of that. 27th of August. What the fuck? Really? You're wasting time, damn it. I need to get these troops there. Okay, when will they get there? The 10th of September. Shit, come on. Spain, hold up. I believe in you. Oh, I'm terrified because they're only on the little bitty sleeve. I should have shown something else. Shit. This might be a failed attempt. Oh my god! This is a failed attempt. They're gonna win! Ugh, my troops aren't even there yet. Son of a bitch, dude. Let's disperse these guys out. That's fucking awful, dude. Let's hightail it to Madrid. Might as well. They have mechanized units? Oh, God, dude. We're going to die so quick. Damn it. What the hell? My troops are set to fight something like that. Let's, ha let's attack this guy with him. No, it doesn't look like we're going to do it. we got to hold Barcelona for now. They won't give up as long as we have it. What the hell? <laughs> Why are you all helping? That's why, oh my god. Ah, oh, Spain is going to be so hard now to switch. Son of a bitch, dude. And they're only getting troops from me. Aren't they? Yeah, they're only getting troops from me. They're getting, these guys are getting troops from fucking everywhere. Let's run into there and then let's run into there. Let's hope that we can just victory victory get him do it do it my friend I believe in you get into that city no we're fucked I might as well get my troops out of here there's no point ah oh. damn it dude no troops I'm just gonna delete them Get them out of here. That war's fucking over, and I'm not going to waste my lives doing that. Fuck! It's alright. They still have 25%. We might as well continue boosting them. Maybe diplomatically they'll change? Gotta hope. Damn, that sucks. It's going to be hard doing that. Like, everybody and their goddamn mom sent them troops. Even China did. And they're not even fu- Ah... China's going to be even fucking worse probably with the change because the Soviets are going to send troops their way and every other goddamn communist nation. Ah, uh, damn it. At least we changed one, but... 
We're one for two, 50%. That's not that good. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed the episode, though. It's kind of like a, we had a good bit of the episode, and we had a bad bit of the episode. It kind of sucks a lot. I don't know what we're going to do about Spain. Because it's going to be so difficult trying to create our own faction. I mean, shit, we could join theirs, but we got to get the shit big enough. We just we got to. Maybe the Union of Lincolns could spark this, but, I mean, I don't have any damn troops over here to even block the American People's Commonwealth from coming in. I mean, I could send probably these 13 over there. If anything, we're not going to take Utah. They might be an ally of ours, but I want all the damn territory here. But I'm just terrified about this. Mmm, son of a bit. Well, let's go ahead. We might as well go to November. And I'll leave it for a choice for you guys if it pops up. Um, it's going to be the next election. Because Jeb Bush has done some good things. Grabbing a lot of territory for us. But he's done some bad things. I mean, he lost us some lives over in Spain. That was a humiliating attempt to try to change them to a nationalist state. So... I mean, it wasn't like the United Arab Republic. That was a success. It was an overwhelming success, but it's going to be a lot more difficult here. I mean, we could change the United Kingdom. We're changing at the moment, trying to change China. It's difficult. I'm going to go ahead and start the boosting. I'm going to make an executive decision to start that. Let's see if we can crumble the United Kingdom and get them to go our way. But if we have to do a coup over in there nation it's going to be way too damn difficult uh let's get some research going because we have like three that we need to do i'm going to spend this one totally focused on construction we need to get that good and under underscore we should work with the military honestly man that sucks so i'm waiting for this next because it says election events so I'm waiting for it hopefully it'll pop up if it doesn't we got Jeb Bush for the rest of the time it's gonna be exciting but oh well Ugh. man it looks like we might have Jeb Bush for the rest of the time because it hasn't popped up I th swear it would have popped up by now because it's in it said the next election was when I mean, it says it's events. It's not at a certain date. So I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. Yep, it's December now, so it looks like we're going to stick with Jeb Bush. We're just going to say that he won a second term, if anything. Um, hopefully you liked the video. <laughs> if you did then thank you because that was a it was a good part and it was a bad part like i said before but it looks like we're going to be sticking with jebby boy bush for another time good old please clap jeb bush he's going to be sticking with us for another four years it looks like at least unless we get the event in the next episode and then i just got to choose it by, from there so oh well hopefully you guys though still enjoyed the episode if you did comment down below what countries or you know we should take i'm thinking that i mean at the moment get our strength up get you know everything going get an attack going and then join the democratic league that's what i'm thinking i mean that's our best shot honestly that's probably our best shot and it's sad to say that that's probably our best shot. We could try boosting over the United Kingdom, seeing if diplomatically they'll change. I would think that the Democrats would be able to change easier. But I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. We're going to hope. I mean, we're boosting over in China as well. That's going really well. So please let me know in the comments below what we should do. Uh, like the video and subscribe to see more. We're going to be playing a lot more Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, Stellaris, Crusader Kings 2, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll probably even play some Player Unknown Battlegrounds. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, in the next one, we'll figure out what we're going to do. Glenn Games is going to sign off, as always. Take care, everyone.